Okay, in the last uh, few lectures, uh, we are discussing about some of the practicing problems. Today, we will discuss some more problems on uh, finding the CMRR of a given circuit. So, first I will find out the CMRR of a instrumentation amplifier. We have uh, find out the CMRR of differential amplifier. So, that time uh, I told that the CMRR of instrumentation amplifier is greater than that of uh, the differential amplifier which is the one of the advantage of uh, instrumentation amplifier. Today we will uh, derive the expression for the CMRR of instrumentation amplifier. Find the CMRR of the following instrumentation amplifier. See the circuit diagram given. Basically, two voltage followers followed by a differential amplifier. This is the output. R3, R4, R3, then this R4. Here we are going to apply the input signal. This is R2, R2, this is R1, R1. Then here we will be having two components, one is differential signal, another is common mode signal. This is common mode signal. This can be plus or minus also. Like in the previous example, this was plus and minus. Now I am taking minus plus. This can be of any type. So here I am going to apply VD by 2 voltage, differential voltage, another VD by 2 here. Total is VD. So you have to find out the common mode rejection ratio of this circuit. CMRR is common mode rejection ratio. how efficiently this circuit rejects the common mode signal such as the noise. If I call this signal as VI1 input 1, this signal as VI2, this output as V01, this as V02. So, what are the expressions for VI1, VI2? V01, V02. If I consider this VCM, this VD by 2, this VI1, so what will be the loop? This VCM is minus 2 plus. This is VCM. This is, of course, grounded. And then this VD by 2 is minus 2 plus then you have to find out this vi1 this is with respect to plus and minus this is vi1 so what is uh, 
KVL. This is minus 2 plus. This is plus 2 minus. This is plus 2 minus. If I take minus 2 plus as positive, then this will be VCM. And this is plus 2 minus. So minus VD by 2. This is also plus 2 minus. Minus VI1 is equal to 0. Implies VI1 is equal to VCM minus VD by 2. Whereas to find out this VI2, so what will be circuitry? This VCM, this VD by 2, this VI2. Similar type of the circuit we can have here. So this is now VCM. This is plus minus and this is minus plus and this is connected to V I2. This is V D by 2. If I take minus 2 plus as positive, this is plus 2 minus, this is plus 2 minus this is minus 2 plus you can see here minus 2 plus then minus 2 plus then this is plus 2 minus this is also minus 2 plus this is minus 2 plus if you go in this direction again this is minus 2 plus so what will be this minus 2 plus if I take as positive VCM plus VD by 2 minus VI2 is equal to 0 implies VI2 is equal to VCM plus VD by 2. So VI1 is VCM minus VD by 2 and VI2 is VCM plus VD by 2. So this is VCM minus VD by 2 this is VCM plus VD by 2. Now I have to find out this output voltages V01, V02. So what is V01? You can see that this circuit, this circuit is nothing but a non-inverting amplifier. This is grounded. So the gain is 1 plus feedback resistance by input resistance. So if I draw the equivalent circuit of this one, so this is a positive terminal, negative terminal, we have this to ground, this to this, and at positive terminal we have VI1. This output is V01. You can see that this is positive terminal is VI1 and at negative terminal we have feedback resistance R2 input resistance which is grounded is R1 and output is V01. This is R1, this is R2. This is a standard non-inverting amplifier whose gain is 1 plus R2 by R1. So V01 will be now 1 plus R2 by R1 times VI1. But what is VI1 from the previous circuit? VCM minus VD by 2. So this is equal to 1 plus R2 by R1 VCM minus VD by 2. Similarly, what about V02? The circuitry for V02 is also similar type of circuit. Here at positive terminal we have VI2, negative terminal R1 is grounded, R2 is feedback resistance, output is V02. So to find out R2, the same circuit is there, but in place of VI1 we have VI2. And this is grounded. This is V02, R2, R1. 
So, V0 2 is also equal to Vi2 times 1 plus R2 by R1. V0 2 is equal to 1 plus R2 by R1 times Vi2. Now, what is the difference between the V0 2 and V0 1? Because this is differential amplifier, the input that is applied to the non inverted terminal is V02. So, you take the difference signal of V02 minus V01. The differential output due to differential signal. is V02 minus V01 is equal to 1 plus R2 by R1 into VI2 minus same 1 plus R2 by R1 and this is VI1. So, 1 plus R2 by R1 is common then you will get V i 2 minus V i 1. What is V i 2? Is V c m plus V d by 2 and what is V i 1? V c m minus V d by 2. What is V i 2 minus V i 1? V c m, V c m will get cancelled. This becomes 2 V d by 2 or simply V d. So, you see nothing but Vd. This is equal to 1 plus R2 by R1 times Vd. So, this will be the differential gain. This is differential output, differential input. So, whatever the factor of this one is differential gain. Therefore, differential gain Ad is equal to 1 plus R2 by R1. Then you have to find out the common mode gain to find out the CMRR. So, what is common mode gain? This is differential output due to the differential input signal. Now, what is the output due to the common mode signal? E nothing but V01 plus V02 by 2. This is the output. This is equal to what is V01? Is this V02 is this 1 plus R2 by R1 times VI1. Plus same 1 plus R2 by R1 times VI2 whole divided by 2. This is equal to 1 by 2 times 1 plus R2 by R1 is common. So, VI1 plus VI2. This is equal to 1 by 2 1 plus R2 by R1. VI1 is VCM minus VD by 2, VI2 is VCM plus VD by 2. So, this VD by 2, VD by 2 get cancelled, 2 VCM, this 2 will get cancelled. So, you will get this is simply 1 by 1 plus R2 by R1 times VCM. VCM is the common mode signal, so this is common mode gain the output due to the common mode signal is equal to the common mode signal into whatever the factor that factor is common mode gain. Therefore, the common mode gain ACM is equal to 1 plus R2 by R1. And what is the differential gain we have obtained is also same. Therefore, the common mode rejection ratio is defined as 20 logarithm of modulus of AD by 
ACM. This is equal to 20 logarithm of AD and ACM both are same, so 1. So, this is simply 0 dB. So, for the given circuit, the CMRR is 0 dB. So, this is not the good circuit. So, if CMRR is high, then it is a good circuit. Okay. So, this circuit is not a good circuit for the instrumentation amplifier. Now, I will consider the second circuit and I will find out the CMRR and uh, I am going to prove that uh, the second circuit is having good uh, CMRR. So, most of the uh, practical applications uses the second uh, type of the instrumentation amplifier. So, the next example is find the CMRR of the following instrumentation amplifier. So, almost similar circuit with slight modification. This part is exactly same. This is output, this is R3, R3, R4, R4, here we are going to take VI1, this is VI2 and here we are going to connect a 2 R resistor, 2 R1 resistor, instead of having 2 R1 resistors in series and in between we have a ground. Now, we have 2 R1 resistor without any ground. The remaining connections are same. This is R2. This is also R2. And here this differential signal. This is another differential signal. And this is common mode signal. This is plus minus VCM, this is minus plus, minus plus, this is VD by 2, this is VD by 2. Then we have already derived that this is V01 is VCM minus VD by 2. This we have derived that V02 is equal to VCM plus VD by 2. But the output V01 and V02 will be different now because here the connection has been changed. If I assume that this current is I, the same current flows through. If this current is I, the same current flows through this, the same current flows through this because the operational amplifiers are ideal. So, the current through this terminal is 0, current through this terminal is 0. So, whatever the current coming from here, so this will goes to this, this will goes uh, through this uh, 2 R1, then the same current will flow through this R2 resistor, here current is 0. So, now what will be expression for V01, V02? For that first I will find out. current I. This is the direction of the I. So, this voltage is nothing but V01. The second assumption of the ideal operational amplifier, the voltage at uh, non-inverting terminal is equal to voltage at the inverting terminal. So, this is V01 means this is also V01. So, the voltage at uh, non-inverting terminal of uh, second operational amplifier is V02 means the voltage at uh, inverting terminal also V02. Now, this is the current, 
this is v0 1 this is v0 2 the direction of the current is from v0 1 to v0 2 so what is the expression for i is equal to v0 1 minus v0 2 divided by 2 r 1 now knowing this v0 1 how to find out this is vi 1 vi 2 this is v0 this is input currents so this is vi 1 minus vi2 so to find out v0 1 from vi1 so what is the kvl this is vi1 and this is plus 2 minus and this vi1 is with respect to this this is plus with respect to ground this is with respect to ground so this is something like we have this vi1 with respect to ground this is vi1 plus minus then we have the resistor then you are going to take the output here with respect to ground this is plus minus and the direction of this current here is this means this is plus this is minus this is r2 this is v01 this is vi1 so what is the relation between the vi1 v01 and r2 minus 2 plus if I take as positive so v i 1 and this is also minus 2 plus so the current is i times r 2 plus i times r 2 and this is plus 2 minus minus v 0 1 is equal to 0 implies v 0 1 is equal to v i 1 plus i times r 2 but what is i this one so v i 1 plus v i 1 minus v i 2 divided by 2 r 1 times r 2 this is equal to what is v i 1 v c m minus v d by 2 what is v i 1 minus vi2 vi1 is this one so vi1 minus vi2 is equal to vcm minus vd by 2 minus vcm minus vd by 2 so this get cancelled this becomes minus 2 vd by 2 is equal to minus vd plus r2 by 2 r1 into minus vd so in place what is v01 final expression v01 is equal to vcm minus vd by 2 plus r2 by 2 r1 into vd and if we take this vd by 2 as common this is equal to vcm minus of vd by 2 if we take as common and this will be 1 plus r2 by r1 this is one expression for v01 similarly how to find out the expression for v02 so you can consider now this path this resistance this current this is vi2 and this is v02 so if I write similar type of the circuit here, VI2, R2, V02, V02, this is VI2, passing through the circuit, R2, and here we are taking the output with respect to ground, plus minus, this is V02, and what is the direction of the current in this R2 this is the direction of the current from VI2 to V02 this is I means this is plus this is minus so what is the re relation between VI2 V02 and uh, the voltage drop across R2 minus 2 plus if I take as positive VI2 the voltage drop across R2 is plus 2 minus so minus 
i times r2 and v0 is plus 2 minus minus v02 is equal to 0 implies what is v02 is equal to vi2 minus i times r2 this is equal to vi2 is nothing but vcm plus vd by 2 minus of i we have derived as this i is vi1 minus vi2 by 2r1 into r2 so vi1 minus vi2 is nothing but minus vd so this is equal to vcm plus vd by 2 minus of r2 by 2 r1 times minus vd this is equal to vcm this becomes minus of minus becomes plus vd by 2 if we take as common this will be 1 plus r2 by r1 So, this is the expression for V0 2, you can call as 2. This is the equation for V0 1. Now, we have to take V0 2 minus V0 1. This is differential output due to differential signal and the factor of Vd is differential gain. So, this is V0 2 minus V0 1. So, the factor of Vd is the differential gain. So, what is V02 minus V01? Vcm plus Vd by 2 into 1 plus R2 by R1 is V02 and V01 is Vcm minus of Vcm minus of minus becomes plus Vd by 2 into 1 plus R2 by R1. VCM, VCM will get cancelled. This VD by 2 1 plus R by 2, VD by 2 1 plus R by 2 becomes VD 1 plus R2 by R1. This is equal to 1 plus R2 by R1 times VD. Implies this will be the common mode gain AD. Similarly, in order to obtain the common mode gain, you have to take the sum of this by 2. Therefore, V01 plus V02 divided by 2 is equal to V01 we obtained as this VCM minus VD by 2 into 1 plus R2 by R1 is V01 and V02 is plus VCM plus VD by 2 into 1 plus R2 by R1 all divided by 2. Here this VD by 2, VD by 2 will get cancelled. We will get 2 VCM by 2 which is equal to VCM. Here what is the factor of uh, VCM which is the common mode gain is unity. So, we got AD as 1 plus R2 by R1 and ACM as unity. Therefore, what is CMRR is equal to 20 logarithm of modulus of AD by AC. This is equal to 20 logarithm of 1 plus R2 by R1. So, there are two circuits. For the first circuit, we have got CMRR as 0. For the second circuit, we have got as CMRR as 20 logarithm of 1 plus R2 by R1. So, which one is better circuit because this CMRR is greater than 0 dB? This is better circuit. This is better circuit for instrumentation amplifier. 
So, both these circuits are instrumentation amplifiers only, but the second circuit is a better circuit in terms of the common mode rejection ratio because it can reject the common mode signals in an efficient manner. What is the reason for that one? You can see this from this. If I take V01, what is the gain for this VCM is 1 plus R2 by R1. Even in this V02 also if I substitute this VCM plus VD by 2, the gain is 1 plus R2 by R1. So, the gain for the common mode signals in first circuit is 1 plus R2 by R1 that is undesired. Common mode signal is normally the noise. So, for which uh, we should not provide any gain, but the first circuit is providing a gain of 1 plus R2 by R1 for the common mode signal. Interestingly, if I take the second circuit, so this is the output for the V01. So, what is the gain for VCM? Unity. So, whatever this common mode signal here, the same VCM is obtained at the output also without any gain. Whereas, in case of the first circuit, this VCM at the input after the first stage, this is appearing as 1 plus R2 by R1 times VCM. So, because this circuit amplifies the common mode signals also, so the common mode rejection ratio is less. Whereas, the second circuit does not amplify this VCM, here the output is also VCM. So, this second circuit will be having better CMRR. So, this is about these two uh, instrumentation amplifier circuits and the corresponding CMRR. I will take uh, one problem on the slew rate. Suppose a sinusoidal signal is having uh, a slew rate of Sixty volts per microsecond. What is the highest frequency? That attains a twenty volts peak to peak. output without distortion. Twenty volts peak to peak signal means peak value will be ten volts. So, what is the type of uh, the input signal, the output signal that we have to obtain is 20 volts peak to peak signal, V0 is equal to 10 sin omega t. What will be the highest frequency of this one that will obtain this output voltage with 10 volts peak signal without any distortion. Okay. For that we have to find out a dv naught by dt this is equal to 10 times omega cos omega t. And what is the maximum value of this dv0 by dt? Of course, minus and I am not taking this, Okay, I want the magnitude only, maximum value. Maximum value of cos is unity, so this is equal to 10 omega. And this maximum value of uh, dv0 by dt is defined as slew rate. This is equal to 60 into 10 to the power of 6. This microseconds, if I take the numerator, 10 to the power of 6. So, at 10 into omega max, you have to find out the maximum value of the frequency, which can give 10 volts peak value of the output sinusoidal signal is equal to 60 into 10 to the power of 6 implies 2 pi into f max is equal to this 10 this 0 0 get cancelled 
is equal to 6 into 10 to the power of 6 implies f max is equal to 3 by pi into 10 to the power of 6 hedge that comes to around 45.5 kilo hedge. So, we know that this slew rate for a given output without any distortion we can find out the, the maximum input frequency or we can uh, do in another way also for a given maximum frequency what is the maximum output that can be obtained without any distortion this we have already discussed in the previous lectures. So, these are some problems next uh, we will discuss about some specialized applications of the operational amplifiers. Uh, such as filters, oscillators, etc. Thank you.